This is episode 143 of the Rohit Radio show. Let's begin. Here are 10 quick rules for stock traders. Number 1. Never buy a stock that is trading below its 200 day simple moving average. See what the 200 day simple moving average line indicates is the long term trend of a stock and if this line is declining it means that the stock is in a long term downtrend. You don't want to be buying a stock which is in a long term downtrend. So never buy a stock that is trading below its 200 day simple moving average line. The market watches this level very closely. So anything that is trading below the 200 day moving average line is bearish. Number 2. Never risk more than 5% of your portfolio all positions combined. For this you need to understand the nature of loss. If you experience a loss of 50% on your portfolio, it will take you a 100% return to recover that entire loss. However, if you lose only 5% of your portfolio, it will take you only 5.26% gain to recover that loss. And recovering 5.26% is not difficult in the market. It could happen in a day, it could also happen in a week or a couple of weeks. So it is not a big return that you are expecting. from the market so never risk more than 5% of your portfolio all positions combined this will help you preserve your capital number 3 scale in gradually never put all of the money that you want to put in a stock in one go scale in gradually start with little test positions and as the stock starts to move in your direction you can add to your position number 4 trade only the daily time frame chart you can create unlimited time frames on your charting platform however what you need to do is to master one particular time frame if you keep switching time frames there is a chance that you might get confused some people look at the weekly the daily and then the hourly i recommend choosing one single time frame become so good at using that time frame that you don't need to use the higher time frame or the lower time frame to get another another view of the market and for this i recommend the daily time frame chart because it is standard most of the professional traders use the daily time frame chart number 5 use backstops as the stock starts to move in your direction does it not make sense to start moving your stop loss in the direction of your trade so that if there is a sharp pullback in the market it doesn't hurt your account in fact it will add money to your account number 6 never sell on low volume you might be using the 20 day simple moving average line as a trailing stop loss and if you find that on a particular day the price closes below the 20 day simple moving average line however the volume on that day has been very low it indicates that the big players are not selling it is the retail players that are trying to get out of the stock the weak hands so there is really no need to sell the stock on that particular day so wait for high volume breaks below the moving average lines those are the true triggers to sell the stock number 7 buy stocks before they break out not after they break out so stocks which have already broken out are called as extended stocks when you buy such stocks you are unnecessarily taking a larger risk learn how to identify stocks that are just about to break out you can read books written by mark minervini in these books he teaches a technique called as the volatility contraction pattern where he shows how he buys stocks before even they break out by doing some demand supply analysis so learn that pattern it will help you buy stocks before they break out number 8 only trade those stocks which are trading above their rising 50 day moving average line the 50 day moving average line represents the intermediate term trend the 200 day moving average line represents the long term trend So if the 50 day moving average line is rising it means that the stock is in an uptrend so stick to those stocks which are above their rising 50 day moving average line so that way 
you are going with the trend you are not going against the big institutional money in the market number 9 avoid short selling see if you short a stock which is selling for 100 the maximum you can make is 100 assuming the stock goes to zero however if you buy a stock for 100 it has the potential to go to 1000 or maybe 2000 or maybe 5000 so there is a potential for 10x 20x 30x return on your money even legendary traders like mark minervini william o'neil they have all been long only traders they have made less than 1% of their total gains by doing short selling number 10 avoid intraday i think by now if you have been trading intraday for a couple of years you will realize that 9 out of 10 people doing intraday are not making money so why do you want to get into a game where your odds of success are less than 10% avoid intraday and stick to the daily time frame remember higher the time frame higher is the reward to risk ratio trades you will find so those were the 10 quick rules for stock traders specifically hope this helps thank you so much